Nandam. My name is Steffi. I'm from Vancouver, Canada. I am a full-time human resource manager at an international bank. And in addition, I also manage my own real estate business. I chose to come to Inner Awakening just to be in the living, breathing space of the master for 21 days. The venue, the place did not matter to me. All that mattered was the space. And I'm glad I made that decision because the program is designed in such a beautiful way. Every day was just revealing a new dimension of me. I didn't realize while I was having fun and enjoying the program and all the exercises we did together along with the yoga, I was actually transforming slowly and steadily within and each day was bringing out a new revelation to me. One of the things I would like to point out was the unclutching, which I experienced in a very strong way. Before I came to Inner Awakening, unclutching was just a term to me. Every time I did something and was attached to the results of my action, I would hear Swamiji's voice telling me, unclutch. And I would try to, in some cases I did, in some I didn't. And when I didn't, I would say, well, Swamiji, if I unclutched here, I'm not going to do anything and no one else is going to do. So, you know, that question always came up in my mind. After coming to Inner Awakening, even that question has disappeared. There is no thought. And one thing I've realized that unclutching is no longer a thought, it's no longer an action. It's just a beautiful space to be within. You just work out of that space and everything just unfolds to you. The whole world is at your fingertips. Everything, you can just tap anything you want out of this universe, just with that power of unclutching. And that is something I've really gained out of Inner Awakening. My advice to anybody who's even contemplating on coming to Inner Awakening or even planning a vacation, believe me, trust me, come to Inner Awakening. It's a vacation which will not end when your flight touches your city airport, but will continue not for a lifetime, but for lifetimes. Nithyanandam.